endocardial myositis and we're going to open the tissue to let oxygen in to kill the bacteria. That's the air coming out. that fluid and gas is trapped between the layers of the muscles, so we're opening a window into that layer to let all this infection out and get gas-producing bacteria that's causing all that pressure. So they'll call it like gas gangrene in people. And so it's, if you look in there, the tissue looks green. Um, and that's why they call it gangrene because the tissue like turns like a green color. Are you feeling the pockets? I'm feeling the pockets and I want to extend it down. I don't want to get to where, you know, we're near the spinal cord, um, which is right here, but I want to extend the pocket down so that we have, we establish good drainage out the very, you know, because gravity is going to pull the fluid down here. So I want to make sure I extend at least one of these pockets down um, so that it can drain. And then you'll leave these holes open or? Yeah, they'll heal up on their own. Okay. Yeah. So now we are inserting Penrose drains to keep these areas open so they can be flushed. to itself so it stays in. I'll have the, we'll remove these in a few days after this tissue heals up and there's no more drainage or smell. All right, one more. Hydrogen peroxide is irritating to tissues but it brings oxygen in there so it'll kill a lot of the bacteria by creating oxygen when it bubbles. Um, so we'll do it for a day or two. I'll have you guys do this at home.